Time now for our exclusive player interview brought to you by Cross Country Mortgage. Nathan Segura joined by Browns defensive tackle Dalvin Tomlinson. And Dalvin, you just came out of the cold tub. <laughs> what is that like? Uh, it's, it was brutal today. It was like, I think the, we had a lot of ice in there, like 38 degrees. Or was it not like 15 minutes or so? It was, it was, it was chilly. How are you staying? Like, can you even feel your legs right now? Not at all. <laughs> I guess still, that's a good thing. Right? Still trying to warm up right now. <laughs> when was the first time you ever did a cold tub when you were like, what the heck am I doing right now? I had to be middle school. I made one at home, and I instantly got out and drained all the water out of the tub. I was like, I don't know how people do this, but as I got to high school in Georgia, the heat and everything, I started to get used to it. So in middle school, you had the idea that you wanted to make your own cold tub. What inspired you to do that? Just watching, <laughs> watching ESPN and watching all the NFL guys at the time do it. And um, like Ray Lewis and all them just in the cold tub, you know. And I was just like, to be great, you got to get in the cold tub. But I was just like, I don't know. After the first time I did it, I don't know how many times I could do this. But um, I got used to it and I do it all the time now. So if you could talk to middle school Dalvin Tomlinson and be like, I am in the NFL mm -hmm. in a cold tub at training camp right now, would that like have blown your mind? Yeah, he yeah. is. I don't know how that would have turned out. He probably would have been, I don't know about the NFL then. I probably had to change it. But um, definitely, I would have told myself to get back in that cold tub. So this is a lifelong dream that you're living, clearly. Most definitely. Uh, ever since I was a kid, this is, I've been dreaming of something like this. All right, so here you are with the Browns. You made the decision to come here in free agency. You were the top priority, get you locked up. And I'm sure you have in your mind what that's going to look like. And then all of a sudden later on, they bring in your buddy Zadarius Smith. So you're like, all right, here's a familiar face. This has a chance to be a pretty darn special defensive line, a pretty darn mm -hmm. special defense. What have you seen so far as we're just kind of easing into it here in training camp? Yeah, like I said before, like it's a completely different scheme that I played in before. And uh, I got my guy Jordan Elliott uh, helping me out with the ropes because he's played in the defense for a couple of years. You know, old guys are always young from the young guys, you feel me? Yeah. And, um, you know, like, I, like you say, you got Z and Miles on the outside with Obo and everything, and it's just the, the, the talent's here. It's just uh, we have to get the chemistry together and just keep grinding, and the potential's through the roof right now. So what are some of the new things that maybe you're being asked to do in this scheme that is different, that's different for you? Uh, just the way I'm playing blocks and uh, backdooring a couple things and stuff like that, and just I get to be fully aggressive and just go make some more plays. Which I sure I, you smile when you say that. You like that. Most definitely. I love it. All right. So when you're a defensive lineman mm -hmm. and you go through this entire offseason period and the mini camp and all that, and we're still not yet, as you can see, not yet into the pads, mm -hmm. what are you trying to accomplish? Because I would guess that you think football is clearly played with the pads on, and that's when you can actually really see what's going on. So what are you trying to accomplish in this period? What can you guys do as a defensive line without the pads? I was like all technique stuff. I'll make sure you know all the plays, the checks, things like that. And just the small techniques, uh, your first step, second steps, aiming points, uh, the tracker you want to stay on in certain plays and things like that, and just reading off each other. And it's just the initial steps of building the chemistry we want to build up front. How excited are you to put the pads on? Super excited. You know, it's been a while. You know, every offseason you'd be itching to go hit somebody. <laughs> and as um, soon as you get back out here on the field in between the lines, it's just like it's all back again and uh, the season's right around the corner it feels like it's going to be here in a flash and um like the offseason went by super quick too so super excited for you know with the new teammates new colors and everything and uh excited to get back out here when you get to go against you know a perennial pro bowler in joel batonio two-time pro bowler and why teller ethan postick had a heck of a year last year at center for the cleveland browns how did that iron sharpen out we hear that expression all the time but is that something you're looking forward to because maybe you can bounce ideas off a guy like joel like what do you see when i'm doing this and vice versa to help you both get better oh uh, yeah for sure uh you know i played against him a couple times in the years and stuff and uh Especially when you got a guy like that across from you, it's going to make you that much of a better player because we're all competitors out here. And uh, just the competition every day, trying to beat each other, trying to, uh, hey, you might want to switch this up because you gave away this and that and stuff like that. Those small things, we help each other out because at the end of the day, we're teammates and we want to win together. But uh, iron sharpens iron every single play out here. So you mentioned something that's interesting that struck me. We talked with Joe Thomas, who's going in the Hall of Fame, representing the Browns, obviously. And then we're playing in the Hall of Fame game mm -hmm. the day uh, a couple days before. And I asked him a question. You know, what do you think about from the time the play's called in the huddle till the time the ball is snapped? And he went through about it was a 20-minute just nonstop about 100 different things as checklist. But one would be, you know, your 
Terrell Suggs' toe was at this angle, so I knew he was doing this. How much of that little stuff are you looking for once the play is called? Kind of walk us through your process. Play call, you get to the line of scrimmage so you can see if there's a tell and then know how to attack. Oh, yeah, it always depends on who you line it up against. But, you know, you go look at the film against their tails. But as soon as you get the play, you're thinking about your plays. Okay, if we call it this, it's going to be that. If we call it this, it could be this way or that way. It could be this scheme. Let me look at the formation. Is the slot over here? Is the back over here? How is the back? Is he child alignment? And just it's a long, like you said, it's, it's a long list. <laughs> How excited are when you see something where you somebody's given you a tell that you've studied from the film study, and then it allows you to get a sack or make a tackle oh, for yeah. a loss? And is that that's got to be pretty gratifying? Oh yeah, for sure. It's just when you see the tell, you like you try to start try to not smile because okay. you get excited. But uh, yeah, you be out there and get like almost like the jitters or something, and you go out there and make a play and just let the celebrations begin. Like, shh, we're not telling you. How we knew that. Right. For sure, yeah. <laughs> All right, what's it like being here at the Greenbrier? Is that, did you ever do anything like this in any of your previous stops where you kind of just went and got away for eight days someplace like this? Uh, no, not uh, not yet. Uh, this is the first time I ever did it, and uh, it's, it's been nice so far. You know, the meeting rooms, everything compact right here, and we have to run across, to travel too far for everything, and the meetings and everything, practice, coming out here for walkthroughs and stuff been pretty good so far. I know it's only a couple days into it, but do you feel like bonding obviously has to be a big part of it? You guys kind of have to come together as a team to run through these four or five months, maybe even more than that, obviously, mm -hmm. in this season. Do you feel like you guys are kind of getting along and you're starting to see that chemistry just because you have to be around each other all the time now mm -hmm. from basically here for, and for a while? Yeah, for sure, especially by uh, – I feel like it starts in the position groups. Yep. And uh, the D-line already, uh, we always try to get something to eat or – just uh, watch extra film, do an extra walkthrough together, stuff like that, and we just start bonding from the get-go. I, mean, I got a great group of guys out here, and uh, it's just everybody cares for each other. Nobody's selfish. Everybody's selfless out here, and um, it's good. And uh, like we've been, you know, transferring the same energy to the linebackers and DBs and stuff like that. And uh, when we put these pads on, I'm pretty sure it's going to be on the offense too. Yeah, oh, it's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun. Going to get you out of here on this one. Wanted to ask you after practice, you guys were over here and it looked like you were putting on a master class of some technique stuff, <laughs> running around the pole, smacking the hands away, all of that. What was going on? And is that something that you guys kind of organized yourselves and said we want to get a little extra work in? Oh yeah, just uh, the all, the vets. We came out here. Everybody got a group of stuff we want to work on. I know we were with the D tackles. It's just with the schematic, we was just talking about like double teams and stuff like that. Double teams, uh, hand placement, your feet, how you want to play it, especially teaching the younger guys the same thing who hasn't, you know, had the same NFL experience with it. And um, I know like uh, Miles and Zadarius are doing like some pass rush stuff. You know, they're a specialist with that one. I'm going to go get some yeah. classes from them soon. And, um, yeah, it's just like, you know, just try to give – back to everybody and just give it the same knowledge you share with everybody and they sh share the same to me and um just that's how we're going to get better love to see it, you guys putting in the work here at the Greenbrier. i know you can't wait for the pads this friday we can't wait to see it dalvin again welcome to the browns and looking forward to a great year for you all right thank you